Hello everybody, this is Inayat Meer with my Comtia 900 series presentation 3 or lecture 3. In this presentation, we will talk about the motherboard, RAM BIOS chip, about the power on a self test, about the type of hard drives, and several components. Uh, or about optical discs. Let's go one by one and talk about what we have to go through in this presentation. So first we're gonna see about the motherboard. So we have several types of motherboards. The one you see right now, this is an ATX motherboard with uh, 20 pins, uh, main power supply connectors, you have an IDE primary controller you have a IDE secondary controller and you have a floppy you have a memory you have actually main chipset CPU CPU with a heat sink and cooling fan a GP slot you have a PCI slots but the main thing is here in this uh, topic is a basic input output system chip so this is the bias chip what you see right now in front of you uh, that is uh, found in most of the motherboards in smaller format but in the past we have seen this in a bigger format and, and big look and this is a routine procedure power on self test where you have several components involved power supply central processing unit basic input output system or bias memory memory ram ram random access memory i slash o is input output buzz or input output controllers so they are all involved then we have these hard drives these are internal hard drives or could be external so this is a peta the parallel ata advanced technology attachment then scuzzy small computer a system interface then you have a serial ata seta so these are the most popular in these days because they are fast and uh, bigger in size and cheaper uh, now we have a solid state drive ssd also coming in but they are little expensive but very fast so now we have these optical discs CD stands for compact disk. ROM is read only memory. So if you have a CD ROM, that's mean you are able to use that CD but cannot write on it or cannot rewrite on it. But if you have a CD R, that is a writable or RW which is a rewritable. So DVD, ROM, same thing, writable. And when you once you see here uh, DL, that is a dual layer, dual. RW is a writable, dual layer, DVD, writable, what I see right over here. Okay, and DVD RAM, ordinary random access memory, it can be repeatedly read written to and erased then you have a blu ray again read only memory blu ray disc recordable is r or re-recordable is r e so that is what we had for uh, this short presentation and i'm going to come back with my uh, module uh, or presentation or lecture four so i want to keep them uh, not very uh, uh, lengthy but I want to keep them a little brief because between these demos I'm also showing you my uh, virtual environment my virtual environment like in a hyper V environment where I have my domain and my client ready during these series of lectures I will show you a lot of hands-on demos uh, I will give you one example of that uh, this is what you see right now. This is my Windows Server 2012 R2 
and this is my client computer running windows 7 operating system so what i am going to do here i am going to perform couple of operations from my domain controller which is uh, named as lms.com learning management system and this is my client which is a member of this domain so this is a member of client name is w7-2 and this client is a member of lms.com so let's keep moving on uh, for lecture number uh, five uh, the, the lecture number four and then i'm also gonna work on uh, lecture number five so then i will keep moving on but a lot of hands-on is coming on so uh, keep keep watching my videos and i will uh, see you in my next lecture and in my next video. Thank you for watching. This is Inayat Mir.